Hello everybody and welcome back to our channel. We hope that you're enjoying our videos so far. If you do, please make sure to subscribe and like the videos. Uh, today we're going to talk about a decision that most people who are interested in off-roading have to make. Why, whether they are purchasing a new SUV or they already have an SUV and they always have this question, you know. And that is related to the vehicles which are categorized as all-wheel drive. So the question uh, we get all the time is that, can I really take my all-wheel drive vehicle into the desert? And therefore today we are attempting to answer that question in a technical way. So there are two major differences between an all-wheel drive and a four-wheel drive, a full-time four-wheel drive vehicle. And those two differences are, number one, that the full four by four vehicle has got a low range gear and the low range gear is very important because it helps you when you're deep when you're stuck in deep mud deep sand or deep snow and also especially uh, in terms of the hazard that when you're going down a steep very steep let's say a hill then at that time you need to engage the low range and first gear which helps you come down that particular steep dune at a very controlled pace. In an all-wheel drive, that option is not available. Therefore, negotiating very steep dunes or very steep uh, hill descents are extremely dangerous in an all-wheel drive and should not be attempted. That's the first, which is the low range gear. The second difference that is there in a, in a, between an all-wheel drive and a four-wheel drive is that the four-wheel drive has a differential lock. A differential lock basically locks the, either the rear wheels, both of the rear wheels or all four wheels through a mechanism within the car. And that basically helps you when you're going through ditches or you're going, you're rock, you're rock crawling or you're let's say stuck in the sand where uh, one of your tire has become free now. See in an all wheel drive situation when you have one tire free, that tire will keep spinning freely and the car will think that there is traction. However, when you come to a four wheel drive, there you know that now your car does not have any traction and it's stuck. So as soon as you engage the differential lock, then the car will lock the tires, all four tires or all two tires or whichever uh, option you have in your vehicle. And those tires will move together and therefore that will assist you greatly in coming out of uh, deeply stuck situations. So guys, as you can see, this is a typical uh, four-wheel drive configuration that's and display that comes in your 4x4. Uh, here you can see that my vehicle is already in a 4H mode, which is right here. And therefore, if I need to, if I'm stuck or if I need the maximum torque of my car to come into play, I will simply put my gear into neutral and I will shift this dial towards the 4 low and my car will shift into 4 low. Once it's in the 4 low, this is the maximum power that the car will deliver. Of course, the car cannot go beyond a certain speed because this is maximum power, so it, it will be very controlled power. The other thing, if one of my wheels is free or I need to lock my differentials, as you can see this sign over here, this is if this sign is available in your car, it means that you have a differential lock within your car. And by pressing it, it engages the uh, differential lock, which basically is the best combination that I can have in case I need to come out of a sticky situation and uh, and it gives me the maximum power uh, depending on whatever kind of car you have the same thing will be visible of course on your display also once you engage them these signs over here in indicate that four low is engaged and so is the differential lock so this is the best combination that you can have all-wheel drive vehicles are great to have they look very nice, they are very comfortable, they have proper air conditioning, they have good sound systems. These are all the pros that you can see. They have storage space, you can take your family in them, you know, they are very comfortable. You can go overlanding with them, so you can cross the border, you can drive for thousands of kilometers with them. They are fuel efficient, they are comfortable, they are very uh, relaxing, you know, it doesn't uh, take a toll onto you as a driver or even as a passenger. Whereas in a proper 4x4, you have the luxury category, but the hardcore F4x4s on a long run are always very, you know, tiring on your body. They're not very comfortable on the road. They're a bit noisy. So all these factors come into play when you have to decide what kind of a vehicle you really want for off-roading needs.
And therefore, if you decide that you want to go with the proper 4x4, then watch out for our next video next week, where we'll be showing you the different kinds of 4x4 that are available and what are their pros and cons and what are their real advantages and disadvantages. So that should hopefully help you decide what kind of a vehicle you need. So thanks again for watching our video. Do subscribe and like and share it with your friends and hope to see you next week. Thank you.